Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. Today we're going to be doing some benchmarks on uh, Cyanogen Mod 7, the stable release, the final release of Cyanogen Mod 7. It's no longer in release candidates. Uh, a few quick things about it. Um, performance wise, it seems pretty snappy, but the boot up time on it is extremely fast. I have noticed that right away. I've had it installed for a few hours now and I've restored all of my stuff from Titanium and it's settled in and be restarted a few times. So everything's nice and set. I'm going to be, uh, it's running on a uh, T Mobile G2, also known as the Desire Z, also known as the HTC Vision. Um, I'm going to be running set CPU set at 1.5 and set for performance, and there are no profile set. Uh, I'm going to kill some task here, and I'm going to run uh, three CPU benchmarks and three graphics benchmarks. So if you're just interested in the CPU benchmarks, that's fine. You can stop the video right after they're done. If you're interested in the uh, graphic benchmarks, stick around. I am running a live wallpaper like I always run in my benchmark videos on this phone so uh, the you know the old score should stack up equally um, I'm gonna try to hold on to this ROM for a few days and do an overview in a few days but right now let's get into these benchmarks I'm gonna run quadrant standard first because it seems to be the most popular uh, I had this force close on me once but only once so no problems and my scores have been as low as 1900 and as high as 2300 so we'll see what we get just letting you know that's the range I've been running in which is pretty normal it's a little slower than my stock ROM gets at a 1.4 and this is running at 1.5 but that's also a very light stock ROM cyanogen it, they're nice and snappy ROMs but they do have a a lot of custom stuff laid in so sometimes they run a bit heavier on the uh, processor uh, I'm not a huge fan of the launcher program that Cyanogen uses. I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just I prefer stock launcher. And we got 2074. So, not bad. Still a good speed. You know, great for this phone. Uh, we'll run Limpack. We'll run two or three of those because it's very quick and simple. Uh, 53.295. 54.156. And the final one is 53.982. So as you can see, very good uh, Limpack scores. So now we're going to run SmartBench 2011. Uh, if you uh, if you watch some of my older videos, you'll see that uh, I'm running SmartBench 2010, and uh, it judges scores differently than 2011 does. So keep that in mind if you're watching. Just something to remember because you may see an older benchmark on this phone, and the scores may look a lot higher, but they're actually not. It's that they change their uh, scale so like I said just keep that in mind I actually love doing this benchmark on this phone just for the fact that it goes so fast where it seems that everything else I run it on it goes extremely slow <laughs> I mean it, it's a decent benchmark program I like to use it you know just because it gives you two separate uh, indexes and uh, some people like it some people hate it that's why I run all of these just to let everybody see what they want. Alright, let's display the index scores. It always takes a second to get the scores. And we're running 1490 on productivity index and we're running 1671 on games index. Not that bad when you scroll down here. See the productivity index is better than the Samsung uh, Galaxy S devices but the gaming index is not as good of course. They have wonderful graphics processing on those phones even though they messed up the file system and don't get that good of benchmark scores <laughs> okay now we're gonna run uh, FPS 2D which is just a very simple uh, frames per second benchmark you see a tiny bit of drop off here that's not normal I've ran this a few times and haven't had that problem so It's not abnormal to randomly drop a frame. 57 point, or excuse me, 57 and a SDDV of um, 4.18. So there you go, there's that. And now, I'm sorry. Now we're going to run Nina Mark, which is a uh, graphic benchmark that I really like to use, Nina Mark 1.
they call this program a benchmark, this and Neocore, but I don't see how they're technically a benchmark. They do just run the processor and see how many frames per second you average, but they don't give any more in-depth scores than that. But uh, I like it because this one shows a lot of difference between phones. I usually get really good uh, frames per second with this, even though on SmartBench the pro or game index doesn't look that great. 47.2, that's definitely some of the good scores I get. Uh, now let's, oops, sorry, I don't know why I keep doing that tonight. Kill some apps, and the final one is Neocore. This is Qualcomm's Adreno GPU benchmark program. So take the scores as you will. So, sorry, I always hit interactive mode for some reason. Uh, take the scores as you will because it's uh, Qualcomm's own benchmark program for their own GPU. So it's not like there's really anything else to compare them to except other Adrenos. And this will be the last benchmark. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep this for a little while and uh, do an overview of it. And I, I love Cyanogen Mod ROMs on other phones, but honestly on this phone, I just prefer my stock ROM. I like the stock Android 2.2 that's on this device. It, it works perfectly well for me, and it's the fastest, in my opinion, or, that I've seen on the phone. So, But I'll try to hang it out for a week or so. 57.8, that's really good scores. But I'll try to hang out with this for like a week or so and do a quick overview on it and let you know how it runs if I encounter any problems. So far, so good, except uh, after restoring, I have a problem with the market links, but I believe Titanium should be able to fix that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to follow me in t on Twitter. And uh, don't forget to check out my videos for the release candidates if you want to compare the benchmark scores.